Now, the political war over this is only escalating with the RSS also now wading in. An RSS uh, ideologue and an author, S. Guru Murthy, has also now come out and fact checked Rahul Gandhi over the claims that he made yesterday on Vinayak Damodar Savarkar. S. Guru Murthy now taking to Twitter, he says, and I quote, Mr. Rahul, have you ever gone to Kalapani? Savarkar was not in jail. He was in solitary cell lodged for 50 years. He was 27 then. He was, no, he was peaceful. He was no peaceful, Satyagrahi, he was a revolutionary. Mahatma Gandhi and Ambedkar met him when he was confined in Ratnagiri. They met him because he was a great man. They didn't abuse him. I have lots of differences with him, but that does not mean I have any qualification to comment on his greatness. That's the comment. Now coming to the fore from S. Guru Murthy. And the war of words only escalating. One fact check after another by the BJP, the RSS. Several experts on Savarkar as well coming out and... Uh, Slamming Rahul Gandhi for his comments, for calling Veer Savarkar a coward, for calling him a mafi Veer. Demand for an apology is uh, echoing from uh, all quarters, not just from the BJP. Veer Savarkar's uh, relatives have also filed for a complaint with the police. They too have demanded Rahul Gandhi's apology. Even putting out some documents. Letters by Mahatma Gandhi and several others which also have a similar language. Putting the Congress Party and Rahul Gandhi in the dock once again. Anand Narasimhan, my colleague, now joins me for more on this. Anand, the war words only escalating and one fact check after another for Rahul Gandhi. Yes, it is. And Mr. Gurumurthy coming out and saying that one is trying to understand that all these people uh, have written in the same way because of, uh, it was a form of letter writing. The other aspect is that... Uh, that amongst all the very well uh, known and famed uh, freedom fighters and those who are uh, part of uh, the freedom struggle, uh, there were others too. But Savarkar was one who was perhaps incarcerated and watched like a hawk by the British for the longest time. One has to turn around and ask this question. Why was Satantriya Veer Savarkar the one person whom the British watched like a hawk and they really, really wanted and uh, went through uh, like a, with a fine tooth comb Every single word he penned, so much so. And uh, it was not that he, uh, Rahul Gandhi was perhaps factually uh, erroneous in the fact where he said that two, three years he was in uh, Kalapani. No, he was there for more than a decade. He came back only in uh, late 1920, early 1921 when he was released. And also it was at the behest of Mahatma Gandhi that he wrote the letter. He, it is on record when, when uh, Veer Savarkar has written to his brother, saying that why should I uh, beg for pardon or remission of my sentence till the time the, the nation wants me. If, if the people and the society does not want me or uh, need my contribution, why should I ask for remission? I will stay here. This is what he had written to his own elder brother. But Mahatma Gandhi had written to him asking him to write for remission and seek remission because he said that the nation needs you in your fight for the freedom struggle. And this is despite the fact that both Mahatma Gandhi and... Uh, uh, Veet Savarkar, they differed with each other in terms of political opinion. They had a difference of opinion politically. They differed with each other. But despite that, they uh, they, they respected each other. And uh, uh, and this was mutual. The and that is something, uh, as Guru Murthy even points out, Anand, uh, that he says uh, that I have uh, differences with him, but that does not mean I have the qualification to raise any doubts or question him and uh, make comments like that uh, Rahul Gandhi has done for the moment. Thank you so much for putting that in perspective for our viewers.